"'Twas the night before Christmas. Grandma and Papa just went to sleep. So I went to see the presents under the tree and sneak a peek." Forbidden present, the card said. If I opened it, would I be dead? So I took a chance and opened it wide. But what I saw just made me sigh. Keys in a box, and I was still alive. But what was the point? Because I can't even drive. <gasps> just then, I heard it for goodness sake. Grandma and Papa were awake. The present was forbidden. Didn't you see what it said? Weren't you afraid of being dead? Well, what's the big deal? It's almost Christmas Day. But then I realized that's not what I should say. We open our presents at a set time and place. It reminds us God's timing was perfect and no one should miss seeing Jesus' face. Jesus was born for such a time as this. He came when he could not be missed. Unto us a child is given, the scripture said. But the Israelites had to wait. Don't you get it? Did you fall on your head? Jesus was the perfect gift in which we had to wait. All the other gifts have to have the same fate. Then it hit me. We waited for Jesus, the gift that keeps on giving. Our presence remind us of the eternal life he gives. We will be forever living. That is right, and his timing was perfect, and he wasn't late. And you can't open your presence early. You have to wait. A sign for the world to see that everyone would experience peace abundantly. Now that you understand the value of waiting, I guess you can have the other part of your present. We can stop debating. The keys were bought for you from afar. They go to your brand new toy car. <gasps> a toy car with a cushy seat. I hope I can reach the pedals with my feet. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Christmas. So I sped away with such delight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> Just like the world had to wait for Jesus, so we need to wait to open our presents. Yes, Jesus came at the right time for all the world to hear of his forgiveness of sins and the eternal life he offers. He became the Son of Man so we could become sons of God. Yes, that's true. He gave his life so we could have eternal life. Luke 11 says, For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. That's the true meaning of Christmas. It's all about Jesus. He's the reason for the season. Ah, you got it there, boy. Oh. <laughs> Christmas is so close. I can't wait. Yay! Merry Christmas. Jesus loves you. Bye! <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs>